to get a PC. How much? Yeah. We'll to get These people cracked the code to open the luckiest storage units in the world, making them rich within seconds. 20,500. What did they find? Stay tuned to know more. So let's dig in. Number one, the millionaire box. How much money would you spend on a storage unit if you knew there were a million bucks inside? A storage unit was put on an auction back in 2018. Day of uncovering the truth came and the owner was nervous. Inside, there were pieces of furniture, some old toys, and a few pieces of junk, but nothing that would cover the cost of the storage unit. Suddenly, a small safe was found, and the owner decided to crack it open. What he found next was astonishing. When he opened the safe, tens of $15 bills flew in the air. There were huge stacks of cash stuffed inside the tiny locker. The new owner of the storage unit couldn't believe his eyes. He fell down out of shock. It was a whopping $7.5 million in cash. Now that's something. Number two, the geek treasures. That's a hi-fi right there. This is part of the business. This storage was bought for $2,800, but they had no idea what they will be finding in there. Right off the bat, they found a Batmobile toy. Then came some great Star Wars figurines. Marvel, WWE, and other movie figurines followed, and all in original packaging too. You may not realize it, but the geeks watching will know, this is some expensive stuff. Hold on to your hats because you won't believe it when I tell you these toys were valued at $40,000 by the expert. Yeah, those are some huge profits right there. Number three. Huge stack of money inside. This man bought a storage unit worth $1,000. Do you think he found his money's worth inside? A couple came across a storage unit that was filled with tens of boxes lined up against the walls. Since the boxes were all taped shut, it only added more to the mystery of whether they were going to hit the jackpot. Their nervousness was buzzing all over the place. They got ready with the high spirits to tear apart the boxes. There were a lot of items, from fishing equipment and tools to personal items. Then suddenly, they came across a big safe. Look what I can reach. Oh, this thing's heavy. Oh my gosh, why is it so heavy? Whoa. Excited about what they would find inside, the couple tore it open. Under a few stacks of old paper, a large number of Ziploc bags and envelopes were stuffed with money inside one after another. The couple got excited, jumping with happiness and looking at each other in shock. They started counting the dollar bills that were piling up on one another. The amount was hitting the price they paid for the storage unit, but it didn't stop there. There was more money, but it wasn't over yet. The couple also found a couple of pretty fancy watches and expensive jewelry inside, weighing a little over six pounds. There was also a bunch of Vietnam money, summing up to a total of a million dollars. The guys had hit the jackpot, and they knew that for sure. Number four, the art locker. For the right eyes, art is nothing less of a masterpiece, but for the right collector, art could be worth over a thousand dollars. Something similar happened to this duo who bought this storage unit for $3,600. You might think that's a boatload of money spent on an abandoned locker, but it is nothing compared to the profit they were about to make. The duo started skimming through the things inside the unit. From old helmets to small figurines from the 1980s, the duo had already made close to the price they had put on the storage unit. Suddenly, amidst the mess, there was a wrapped-up painting by Frank Gutierrez. It wasn't just any painting, but a signed one, to say the least. But there's more. There wasn't just one painting, but a whole box of these signed paintings simply gathering dust in the storage unit. The duo took all of the valuable stuff to an expert to see what price she would set on the canvases. You might want to hold your breath for this reveal. The paintings were worth over $300,000. The duo could not believe what they had heard and continued to gaze at the expert in shock. What would you do if you came across this find? Number five, the 
the storage unit with a car. In the middle of nowhere, hidden inside a rusty old garage unit, was a find that was worth thousands of dollars. This abandoned storage unit was tucked in a pretty shady area. Opening the unit did not give the new owner any hope either. Rusting for years with snow melting down the unit, there was an eerie smell that had embossed into the air. But there was one thing that stood out immediately after opening the storage unit, a giant tarp that covered what looked like a car. When the owner set the massive cover aside, he knew he had hit the jackpot. There was a modern Nissan model with an automatic gearbox fitted with a set of off-road tires easily worth over a thousand dollars and a comfortable interior that could turn any road trip into a wild ride. The best part was that the car was in working condition with no dents on its body. The keys were tucked away in a small furnace and the car was roaring fire on a cold day, making the new owner jump up in excitement. He had bought this unit for nearly $4,000 and was walking away with double the price tag. Talk about luck. What do you think about this amazing find? Number six, the jewelry find. This couple bought a storage unit worth $1,500 and ended up raising that price by almost six times in profit. When the storage unit propped open, there wasn't much inside that made the couple happy. But then they started opening the good boxes. Star Wars collectibles, a huge stack of romance novels, rare edition books, fiction books, Harry Potter collectibles, and many toys from the 90s. It could be one person's junk and the other person's long lost treasure. Which one would you think you'd be after this storage unit find? But maybe this will change your mind. Hey, you wanna come back and help, huh? Y'all look at this. I've already tested a few of these. There's stuff in this. I'm not joking. Look at this. Oh, oh my God, babe. The storage unit also had a huge box of jewelry that was tucked away inside the unit. Inside, there were all kinds of things from popular stones like ruby, onyx, jade stone, and a rare Australian crystal to a hundred rings. Many of them were 925 sterling. There was also some gold in the mix. While some of the jewelry was gold-plated, others were around 10 carats. There were even a few collectibles, like a few animal statues that were gold-plated and could have a striking value if sold to the right person. The couple made over eight to $9,000 with these amazing finds that they were planning to sell in exchange for cash. Number seven, jackpot. This young guy bought a storage unit for around $440. What he found inside was nothing short of a treasure. The box unit had a lot of things that looked junk at first sight, but struck up a great deal up close. The trio got into finding things, but started evaluating the cost of the items at a pretty lowball price. The profit summed up to be nearly $6,000, but the viewers estimated that the storage unit was worth more than that staggering price. A Charizard card worth more than $1,200, a Tag Heuer that could easily cost a little over $1,000, an expensive hat, a skateboard, and a huge motorbike that was worth well over twenty dollars to $30,000. But the trio inside the locker thought that the locker was not more than $6,000. Do you think the price estimator was right in telling the price? Or are you like the comment warriors thinking the price tag is well over $10,000. Let us know what you think. Number eight, the piano locker. All right, here we go, number 20, what are you gonna pay? I've got 200 bucks and 200 quarter, 225 going once. I've got 200 bucks, 200 quarter, 225, 225 there. This man bought the storage unit at an auction and spent $270 to get all that was inside the mystery box. How much do you think he managed to bag? The man started rummaging through the unit and instantly found a small piano wrapped up in a tiny box. You might think it was a dollhouse piano, but the man knew it was too detailed to be a child's toy. The piano turned out to be a Marshall and Wendell and is considered to be one of the most supreme kinds of piano out there. With superior quality and fine craftsmanship, it was an old piano and the storage unit owner 
could not wait to hear its price. He took it to an expert who estimated its price to be nearly ten to twelve thousand dollars if sold to the right collector. That's a lucky find right there. Number nine, the sneaker jackpot. Are you a sneakerhead? This clip will make you peel your eyes out. A guy bought a storage unit worth over ten thousand dollars. You'd think he is crazy for spending that huge sum without knowing what lies on the other side. People thought so too at first, but they were quiet when he opened the storage unit. Inside the unit were hundreds of boxes, hundreds of pairs of rare and old Nike shoes that can turn any sneakerhead's dream come true. It was a collection of dunk low sneakers, old school vintage dunks, Tiffany's, Jordan's, Old Spice Dunks, Crimson Dunks, and many more that made the owner giddy with happiness. The shoes weren't battered either. They were in great shape with at least an eight to nine condition on their color and design. Some of these pairs were close to $1,000, while others crossed that limit and hit over the $5,000 mark. That's crazy. You could open up a sneaker store with this collection and that's exactly what this man did. What would you do if you came across a storage unit like this? Keep the rare sneaker collection or sell it for an insane amount of money? Let us know. Number 10. The set of paintings. This duo came across an art locker and wanted to test their luck. So, they spent around $210 to see if they had hit the jackpot. The locker had many frames of art that were well up to hundreds of dollars. One of them was an advertising poster that could easily sell for a little over a hundred dollars. However, one of the stacks contained a set of prints that the duo instantly knew was valuable. The painting was of a Western scene. The illustrator was considered the master of Western art because of the intricate details that he put into his paintings. There were around 50 frames and they were all signed. Number 11, the rare Pokemon cards. The one we are about to watch is pretty special and bound to take you on a nostalgic trip. A man was on a hunt to find some good poke deals. He came across a storage unit that gave him a small sneak peek that Pokemon cards might be there. So he bought the unit for $1,000 and ended up making much more money in profit. The unit had a big black suitcase filled with things from India old currency, spices, shoes, organizers, tennis rackets, and much more, summing up to hundreds of dollars. But the real jackpot was waiting to be opened. From Evolution Packs, Red Cheek, Pikachu, Mouth VMAX cards, old school team rocket themed deck cards, rare Charmander, Japanese cards from the 70s, and many first edition cards. The guy had easily managed to make well over 8,000 bucks with this find. Many of them were in near mint condition, a treasure for the collectors. What do you think? Number 12, the set of antiques. This girl bought the storage unit for $1,550 with hopes of getting at least the price she paid for the unit. Luckily, a lot more was in her fate. The woman put on her detective hat and started rummaging through the litter. Many small things summed up to be nearly $2,080, but she had just begun to shape her lottery. Inside the many boxes, the woman came across a bunch of antiques that were not only gold-plated, but signed too. The many sculptures were called Jaru Pottery, an art that started in the 1940s. But these antiques that the woman found were as old as from the 1970s. They were gold-plated with 18-karat gold and polished with a shine that lasted all these years. From cat statues, swans, and even a ram's head, the woman had come across a rare collection of the Jaru pottery. An expert claimed that all of the antiques the woman found were over $2,070, doubling the price of her profit within minutes. Do you think the woman hit the jackpot? Number 13, the military box, a storage unit priced at $5,500. Would you buy it to see what was inside? This man sure did, but he won't come to regret it. 
the man started going through the things and found a lot of valuables in the locker. It was filled with weapons and helmets dating back to the 1940s. It was a veteran's paradise. There were many interesting historical finds like the WWI caps, Algemeiner SS officer visor cap, designed by Hugo Boss, license plates, rounds of machine guns, grenades from the past, and many casings and shells. Imagine if it got into the wrong hands. The locker also had a pretty rare 1880s Sam and Bell Star wanted poster. There are only a few in existence, so you can imagine how much it all might be worth. All of this could easily be displayed in a museum. Number 14. Museum Finds this unit was bought at a hefty price of $3,900. That sounds like a stressful price tag, but these people had a hunch and they were right. They had hit the jackpot. The duo got to searching through the two trucks that they had to fill because of the massive storage unit. They unloaded the items only to discover they had made nearly $50,000. A peacock statue, English hunting scenes, an antique box hitting the $3,000 mark, signed oil paintings that were worth $8,000, designer suits, Buddha, and even Baroque by Wallace Sterling Antiques worth thousands. They had bought a fancy unit and it was paying off. How do you even beat that? Number 15, the jewelry box. Imagine buying a storage unit and you find sparkling sets of jewelry tucked away inside the unit. What would be your reaction? Definitely as happy as this duo from Storage Wars. There were a lot of fancy things. A 14-carat gold item, a collector's item from Tiffany's, diamond studs, and an expensive watch. All of these items were well over $17,000. And the duo only paid a little over $1,000 for the unit. Talk about hitting the jackpot. Number 16. The Furniture Treasure. This pair spent a lot of money to buy a storage unit filled with furniture pieces you'd be surprised at how much they were able to make back. Spending around $2,800 on the unit, the duo was busy trying to find things that would win them a good profit. They started going through things and found many valuable items within minutes. A spear that was worth 250 bucks, a $600 painting, an old door that cost up to $1,500, and a bunch of chairs that the duo claimed were from the 19th century. Were they right? Oh, they were. The antique chairs were cross-collectibles that would have piqued the interest of many, many collectors. The duo was able to sell the pair of chairs for seven grand. That's crazy. The whole amount they were able to bag from the unit was well over $12,000. Number 17, the beer can collection. So better up! <laughs> This man paid a very small fee of $50 to get a storage unit filled with fancy beer cans. Can you guess how much he made? For that small price tag, the new owner managed to get his hands on a lot of things. There was a total of 15 boxes filled with beer cans, a box of collector ones, and three different boxes of other items like dinosaur toys. But here is the fun part. The cans were pretty old dating back to more than 50 years old. All of them looked to be near mint condition with no scratches. Reports are that some of those cans are over $1,000, while some even touch the $6,000 mark. But paying only $50 and finding 15 boxes of beer cans in return can easily put him into a pool of thousands of dollars. Number 18, the special currency notes. Is that what I think it is? No. Oh, it is! <laughs> this couple found a pretty special safe hidden under the tarp. What they found next was pretty exciting. They cracked the safe open and they knew within seconds that they were lucky to buy this unit. The safe had a whole collection of foreign coins neatly stacked in journals. Some of them were of Elizabeth II, but the duo was unsure whether they were original coins. Because if they were, they could easily go for millions of dollars. Next came a plastic baggie that had Canadian money stuffed inside. There was a small stack of notes and silver coins dating back 
to 1909. But there was one special thing inside the baggie that made the couple squeal with excitement. A small stack of $100 bills summing up to nearly $1,800 had tiny stars on them. That's not all. A small box with jewelry made up of silver, 925 Italy. They had definitely been lucky with this unit. Number 19. The Giant Chess Pieces Wow. We paid five grand for a locker that I think has more stuff than our house. You never know what the storage unit could hide. Sometimes a bunch of giant chess pieces could be worth thousands. That's right. This trio went on a hunt to open this $5,000 locker. It had a washer and a dryer, a Suzuki piano, and some more furniture that had already gotten them the price of the storage unit. But that wasn't where they hit the jackpot. The giant chess pieces were not just one or two in number. It was the whole collection that the trio took to an expert who estimated its cost to be nearly $3,500. The money they got back was well over $10,000, almost double the price. Do you think it was a good gamble? Number 20, the Vintage Harley. This storage unit is for all the motorcycle enthusiasts who would do anything to get their hands on a Vintage Harley. This group managed to come across the motorcycle sitting in the unit gathering dust. The engine had been replaced to give it a start, but it was still in pretty good condition. The group was planning on keeping it and riding it out into the sunsets. They also found a stack of cash inside the unit, among many other things, summing their total to more than $1,000. But nothing beats this cruiser, which is easily a collectible for most people. What do you think? Would you have kept it too? Or would you have sold it to the right person? Do share your thoughts. That's all on the fancy storage finds that can make anyone gasp at the treasure in shock. These people were pretty darn lucky to have come across these valuable items costing thousands. Which one was your favorite? What is the most expensive thing you've ever found in a storage unit? Let us know in the comments below. Send us some love by hitting the thumbs up icon. While you are at it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot in store for you. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.